This build is by far the most powerful healing spec I think that currently exists in Project Ascension. In certain scenarios in high mythic keys, I have been able to push over 11,000 healing per seconds with this build. If played properly, you will be in tears seeing the unreal amount of healing produced by this build. If you like these videos and want to show me some love, remember to subscribe below and hit the like and the bell button while you're down there. Let's get this video out to as many people as possible. Let's dive into this video. Prayer of Preservation is the legendary random enchant of choice, and let me tell you now, I can't believe this random enchant is in the game in its current form. It is borderline broken and is capable of the most ludicrous amounts of healing I have ever seen. What makes this build so damn strong is that not only does it completely blast on AoE healing, it's an incredibly powerful single target healing build as well. Everything about this random chant is perfect, and if you haven't tried it yet, don't hesitate. Roll this build now. The epic random chants used for this build are Graceful Prayer, Field Medic, and Beacon of Divinity. Graceful Prayer gives you a massive 15% crit chance on your Prayer of Healing and allows it to proc the Grace Talent from Priest. This allows anyone hit by your Prayer Preservation to receive 9% additional healing, which only helps push this spec into the stratosphere. Field Medic is fairly simple. If you're within 5 yards of your party members, they all receive 5% more healing. In fights where you have to stack tightly like Void Reaver and Solarian, there is no other RE out there right now that can compete with this one. Beacon of Divinity is just another slot to help push your AoE healing up to that next tier of power. When casting a holy spell on the target with your beacon, I've seen this extra pulse of healing hit for over 20,000 on 5 players, and for one spell cast, that's a lot of healing. You combine that on top of Prayer Preservation and Circle of Healing, and you are in for a crazy amount of healing. The rest of the random enchants used for this build are 3 Sanctified Light, 3 Hasty Prayer of Mending, 3 Divine Providence, 3 Fierce Mine, and 1 Holy Power. This setup will give you the best mix of huge AoE healing while boosting your single target healing capabilities. The stat priority for this build is as follows. Spirit, Haste, Critical Strike Rating, Spell Power, then Intellect. Let's move on to the talent tree and spells used for this build. Your main spells you are focusing on are Prayer of Healing, Holy Light, Prayer of Mending, and Circle of Healing. Look to push your crit up with holy spells as much as possible while getting as much spirit as you humanly can. We will go over how to play the build when we get a little further into the video, but if you're looking for a quick link to the build, you can find that down in the description of the video. Your best in slot tier set is the Druid Resto tier 5 set. You have so much healing over time in this build, you can proc the set piece bonus very often and getting 15% of your spirit as spell power and crit is undeniably the best in slot for this build. There is an argument to be made that the Priest Tier 5 Holy Set possibly being better, but in all my testing, the Resto Druid Set is by far the best for me currently. Try both to see what works best for you. If you're in need of tier pieces, I run two weekly pugs, both Normal Flex and Heroic Flex, where we give away a full set of tier 5 gear to a lucky viewer. Tune in to twitch.tv slash drydeck underscore TV every day at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time to catch me live. Drop a follow and a sub over there if you haven't already. Jumping for this build is as simple as any other spirit stacking build. If it has a gem slot, put a spirit gem into it. Your meta gem choice for this build will be the Mystical Skyfire Diamond. If you're looking for what enchants to get on your gear, I will leave a list down in the description of the video so you can always reference it later. Let's move on to the gameplay explanation for this build. This will be the unscripted part of the video, so please forgive me if I ramble just a little bit, okay? All right, guys, so here we are in game. Let's uh, let's go over the prayer preservation playstyle. Now, I, uh, my, I, I got a lot of buttons here, uh, but essentially all we're going to be using is uh, prayer preservation, circle of healing, prayer of mending, and uh, holy light as well, using divine favor on cooldown. Um, I've recruited some, uh, some friends here to kind of uh, illustrate some of the AoE healing potential of this build. Now, these numbers are going to be inflated in a sense because not very often is uh, five people in your raid or even a raid going to be taking this much single or AOE uh, DPS all at the same time. We're all going to be getting hit by the uh, ascended raid boss, but I just wanted to show you guys what this thing looks like in a raid environment, okay? So essentially all you're going to be doing is you're going to uh, keep your totems down, right? 
and you're going to be putting your beacon, preferably on the tank. Looks like Yesari is in his tank spec. And then you're going to be using Divine Favor into Holy Light because the Holy Light will proc and deal a whole bunch of extra healing. But essentially all you're going to be doing is you're going to be keeping Prayer of Mending on the target at all times, using Prayer of Preservation when it comes off cooldown, and then spamming your Holy Light on the people with the Prayer Preservation buff. So let me show you what it looks like. Let's see if the lads are ready. You guys ready? All right, so what you're going to do, Prayer, boom. You're going to use your Prayer of Mending. Then you're going to be using Prayer of Preservation. And then you're going to be spamming your healing light on everybody. Your holy light on people who have the debuff and the people who have the buff. There we go. So with uh, with cooldowns, getting over what looks like about 11,000 healing per second. That's pretty good. I've been able to get about 13k when I really pop all my cooldowns. If I really want to go super ham on it. But essentially all you're going to be doing is just using prayer preservation. Using your holy light on targets with the debuff. To get that extra splash healing. Go ahead and keep your prayer mending on. Get your beacon of light going. Boom. Holy light. Going to be getting a holy light coming up here pretty soon. Prayer preservation. Use divine favor. And then you're spamming holy light. So it's a really simple build, but the only problem is, is it's kind of ground targeted. So if your group is not really paying attention to what you're trying to do, it does reduce your healing by quite a substantial margin. But the way that I have this built with the prayer of mending being on such a small cooldown, it does add a lot of extra splash healing. Even if your entire raid group doesn't get hit by the prayer preservation, you can still do a decent amount of AOE healing, even if you don't hit everybody with prayer preservation. So we're peaking about 11k without cooldowns. Pretty good. Pretty good. Keep prayer of mending up. Boom. And one thing you can do is when you're casting your holy light, um, you can haste clip a circle of healing into your abilities as the thing is coming off cooldown to get an additional splash heal without losing too much of your, um, your global cooldown. 11.6k. Ah, Let's go ahead and use my trinket here. <laughs> not bad. Not bad. Okay, let's see if we can't break 12k healing per second here. Let's go ahead and spam this. We got our holy light thing coming up here. Our, he our healing cooldown with uh, avenging wrath. Go ahead and use that. See if we can't hit 12k here. Here we go. Come on. Big heals. Big heals. 11k. Boom. 12k. There it was. Nice. 12k healing per second. Now, obviously, this isn't very representative of actual damage uh, you're going to be taking in a raid because very often, not very often, you're going to be taking this kind of damage. But I just wanted to show you guys kind of the, the upper limit of potential of this build. I have been able to get around 11k in a mythic key when uh, there's a bunch of AOE DPS going, fire champions, all that stuff. So I have been able to achieve close to these numbers in a realistic environment. But this is kind of the... Uh, the you know the best of uh, of the situation you can get boom all right all right boys that's it i will wrap up the video here guys and leave you off with some gameplay footage of this build in action i never thought this build would be as powerful as it actually is but it is by far the best healing spec i have ever played remember to subscribe below and like the video i will see you guys in the next one peace Yeah.